What is a group policy? It's a question that comes up a lot in IT interviews. If you don't know how to answer it, you're in the right place because I will explain to you what group policy is. And not only that, I will teach you how to create a group policy. This is going to be an awesome video. I hope you like it. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the simplest way to understand how GPO works in a business environment. What you're looking at right now is a user login for a specific domain. That means that in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a group policy specific to the users for that specific domain. In this case, test user one decides to use a different computer. This policy that we're going to apply is going to follow them. So let's see what happens right now. So right now, if I log in as this user to this computer, well, nothing's going to happen because there is no group policy that is applied to it whatsoever. You can see that I can log in. Everything is more or less unrestricted. There are no system changes. There is nothing going on. The way I'm going to explain this is by opening up Active Directory. So on our server, or if you have admin tools installed on your computer and you have access to Active Directory, you're going to open up Active Directory users and computers. The reason we're starting with this is because I want to explain to you how all of this is connected and how it all works in a step-by-step -step way where it's easy to understand. All right, so here it is. It's our Active Directory users and computers. And you guessed it right. This is where our users, our login IDs, and computers, meaning computer names, are located and managed. If you haven't watched any of my other videos on Active Directory users and computers, please do so because it really ties into this. I'm going to post a link right now. So I'm going to expand corp where it says corp.contoso.com. This is our domain and this is where our computers and users are located. So I'm going to expand this OU where it says corp. So these are called OUs, organizational units, these folders. And you guessed it, just to, as the name implies, they are organizational units, meaning this is how you organize your domain. Our user, test user one, as you saw previously, is actually located in this folder, in this OU, if you will. So if I select this, you can see that test user is located in here, but you can also see that test user two, three, and four are also located in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a group policy that's going to apply that policy to this specific OU, mean this, meaning this specific folder with all of these users or login IDs that are present inside of it. So everybody that is in here, test user one through four, are going to be affected by this group policy. All right, let's get into it. So now we can minimize this here and then we're going to open up our group policy editor. So I'm going to expand Windows Administrator Tools and I'm going to look for group policy management. All right. So as you've noticed here, group policy management has the same name as our domain, which is great because this is where we are going to make these changes. So I'm going to expand this here and then I'm going to expand our domains because again, we're making changes to our domain and I'm going to expand this again. So this is kind of similar to the OUs that you see in the active directories, the way it's structured. So what are we going to do? We are going to create a group policy, right? So it's going to be group policy object and you guessed it, it's right here. We're going to expand this as well just to see what's inside right now. Right now we just have default domain stuff that is installed in a group policy. If you're doing this in a business environment, you will have a lot more stuff in here. Chances are here, this is just a sort of like a fresh install of this computer lab. And by the way, if you need this computer lab, just let me know in the comment below and I will send you a link. So this is directly from Microsoft if you want to play around with this computer lab. So I'll send you the link. Also check some of the comments because people already asked me for this. And you can find that link and you can download and install it on your computer. So here we are, group policy object. We have it selected. So now we're going to create a new one. We're going to right click it. We're going to right click it and we're going to select new. As simple as that. So what are we going to call it? We're going to call it just new. Now, if you want to be very specific to what you're changing, like let's say you know what you're going to make changes to or what the policy is about, you want to specify the name that specifies that. So that way you can later go in and enable it or disable it if you need to, or simply just to stay organized. Now we're going to just call it new here because we're doing this for educational purposes. Now with our group policy selected, we can see what's going on on the right side here. And we can see that 
display links in this location. That means this is created inside for our specific domain, as I've explained previously. And who is this for? Where it says here security filter, you can see that is for authenticated users, right? So it tells us right now that this is going to be applied for authenticated users. This is going to be applied to authenticated users. I apologize for repeating myself, but it's very important to know this. And again, when we go back to our actor directory, all of these users, test user one through four, are logging into computer by authenticating, meaning that they provide a login ID and password. So this is going to be applied to authenticated users. So I'm going to leave it at that. Of course, you can modify this in an advanced version of GPO if you want to. But we're going to start with this. So the way we're going to edit our group policy, apply changes, create custom settings, is by right-clicking it and selecting edit. So what you're looking at is called group policy management editor. At towards the video, towards the end of the video, I will explain to you how this actually happens at the local level. But right now, I'm just going to show you how this group policy is created. But be sure to stick around all the way to the end so that way you get a full understanding of what's actually happening on that computer that the user logs into. So we're going to concentrate on user configuration. And if I expand policies here and, for example, go to administrative templates where it says policy definitions and whatnot, and if I select, for example, start menu and taskbar on the right side, you can see that you can do all kinds of things and create custom settings for this group policy. For example, you can lock the taskbar, you can turn off notification areas, remove balloon tips and start menu items. This can expand to all kinds of different things where you can customize the window settings for these users that are part of this OU. So it could be anything from, for example, disabling the clock, disabling the desktop icons, disabling the ability to see add remove programs, all kinds of stuff. So whatever it is that you want to customize, you can certainly do so here. For me, I'm going to pick something that is going to show us an immediate result of what we're doing so it's kind of a visual and it's kind of cool to to see all right so let me see where was that i want to say it was in our system yeah it was under log on so what i'm going to do is actually run a program after a user logs in so i'm going to select this here so this is if you want to play around with this this is under system folder log on and i'm going to select run these programs at user log on so whenever the user logs in, it's going to run these programs. And I'm going to open it up. This is where we make our customization here. And it says here, if you enable this policy settings, you can specify which programs can run at the time user logs onto this computer that has this policy applied. So I'm going to select enabled here, and I'm going to select show. And here we're going to specify a path where the program is installed on that computer. So this program has to be something that is installed on that computer. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in as test user one on a computer, on another computer that's part of this domain, just so we can see, well, what happens when you log in, which nothing happens. I believe I showed you that earlier because we don't have a group policy applied yet, but I want to log into it so we can see what programs are installed on that computer. Because if I put a path in here for a program that's not installed, nothing's going to happen. So I need to make sure there's something available for me to log in, for me to run upon a login. So I'm going to log in. By the way, these are all fictional users. I have to say this as part of YouTube's privacy policy. No real identification, no personal information is being shown in this video. Everything is for educational purposes only as we are logging in as test user one. All right. I have to say that because YouTube's policy is very strict on this and I do not want them to block this video because again, it's for educational purposes. All right. So yeah, nothing happens, right? But I'm going to just look for a program that I can automatically launch. So what would be something that might be useful, especially if you have a homepage, for example, set up for a business, maybe we can just launch something that comes automatically installed 
with Windows and that would be Microsoft Edge. This could be anything but I'm going to right click this Microsoft Edge icon and I'm going to go to its properties and the reason I'm going to look at properties of this is just so I can find the path that uh, path where Microsoft Edge is installed. And if I look at the target here, we can see that it's C program files x86, Microsoft Edge application, and then it's executable is called msedge.exe. You can also see it here where it says start in, or if I select open file location, you can see where the path is installation for Microsoft Edge. So we're just going to do that here. All right. I'm going to log off as the test user. I'm going to sign out. All right, I'm going to minimize this here. Now let me see. I think I remember what the path is. I'm just going to type in C backslash program files space in parentheses x86 close parentheses backslash windows. No. I think it was Microsoft. Microsoft application Edge, and I want to say it was MS Edge.exe. If it doesn't work, if I have the wrong path, that's okay. We can always make changes. So I'm going to select OK and make sure you select Apply down here. OK. So this is now created for us, right? This policy is done when it comes to customizing the policy. However, we do have to attach it to the OU. So you can close this or you can minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and minimize it. I'm going to go back to our group policy management. And now we're going to link it to that OU that I showed you previously. So this is OU that is called users because we want to apply it to all these people that are part of that. So I'm going to expand my domain OU. So we're again still in group policy management. We're going to expand this. We're going to find our OU that's called users. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to link an existing GPO. And this existing GPO is the one we just created. All right. So again, this is under our corp domain, right? So it's corp.conts.o, expand and corp. Basically, we're replicating what we see here in the AD, right? So we're looking for users OU. We're going to apply these settings by right clicking this OU, link an existing GPO, and we're going to select the GPO that we've just created, which is called new. I'm going to select OK. All right. Now the link is enabled, as you can see here. And I'm going to go back here to our group policy that we've just created. I'm just going to do something real quick. I'm going to select settings here because I wanted to generate the report that we have made these changes just to make sure that this is applied and replicated. So I'm just going to select here administrator templates and you can see that we've set up a system logon and here it is. We can see the changes that we've made. All right. So we're technically done with this part of it here. Now when I log in as test user Microsoft Edge should launch automatically, given that I have the right path. <laughs> sometimes I don't have a good short-term memory, but I think I got it this time. You know, sometimes they say, uh, you know, you know, fish don't have good memory. You know, maybe sometimes my brain acts like a fish. So <laughs> let's see. Uh, it's it's coming. Uh, these are virtual machines, by the way. Again, if you need the link to the lab that you want to install on your own machine. I'll gladly send you that as well. All right, let's see if anything happens. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's happening. Let me just double check. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just impatient. Unp impatient? Unpatient. All right. <laughs> I'm not patient enough. Let me look at the properties here. All right. See, Program Files Microsoft Edge application, not application Edge. So I got that backwards. That's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. See, I have, so I need to swap these two. Oops. Whoopsie. So I need to swap here application and edge it's okay i'm going to right click our group policy i'm going to edit and i'm going to go back to our policies all right i'm going to make the change it was windows admin templates and it was under system and it was under logon 
and it was under run these programs at user logon and one way to actually quickly find these as long as you have the state as enabled you can actually quickly find these so it's a good way to actually uh, it's a good thing that this actually happened here and I promise you it wasn't intentional at all but it's a good thing if I just select all settings so on the left side here instead of having to search through all of these I can just select all settings and I can just select the state and we can see that the one that we've just made changes to shows up as enabled while the other ones are not configured so I can quickly find this here and I'm going to double click this here I'm going to edit our folder I'm going to edit our program path all right so this is supposed to be edge edge and then application all right ms edge all right apply okay go back to our computer here and I'm going to sign out and we're going to log back in and then it should work just fine and if it doesn't we're going to do GP update which is going to apply the policy locally but you know it should work just fine without having us to do it sometimes you have to reboot the computers some businesses are set up so the group policy doesn't necessarily apply or replicate across the domain until like a certain periods like intervals for example every 90 minutes which is every three hours or so but you can run a gp update on those computers if you want that policy to apply immediately which is which is useful you know all right so it's logging in now and uh, come on come on microsoft edge you can do it come on come on do it do it do it there it is all right <laughs> it launched microsoft edge as we've told it and that's gonna same thing is going to happen for all the other people that are part of that ou all right and let me prove it to you so i'm going to log out test user one so this is test user one and again let me show you here in ad all of this applied in ad all of these group policy settings are applied in AD for everybody that's part of this organizational unit so test user two three or four so let's try one of these other ones all right other user test user two all right and here it comes so I've never so this is that window where I've never logged in as this user on this computer so this is a perfect way to actually showcase to you uh that it's not like a you know it's not a trick that i'm doing is what i'm trying to say this is happening in real time and uh because you can actually have programs like start automatically if you go to uh, start menu and startup programs you can do that on the local computer too but this is all done through the group policy and this is how it works and once we log in as test user two, I will actually show you at the local level what has changed, what has changed, all right? So it's gonna take a little bit longer here because again, it's creating the local profile for a test user two. So it's gonna take a moment here to actually run. You can see the little spinning circle here. There is edge that came up in the background here. You can see that I've never logged in anyways so that works perfectly fine and this is how you set up the group policy again let me show you here i'm going to say local group policy here this is where actual change happens well i don't have the permission to perform this operation because of the restrictions but this is where the magic happens uh, let me log in as administrator here because i really want to show you here so this group policy is actually applying these changes at the local level at the local group policy which is very similar administrator again these are all fictional for educational purposes <laughs> users i'm sorry i have to say this because i had one of my videos blocked because uh <laughs> youtube assumed that those were the real people that I was talking about when it comes to passwords and logins and whatnot. So I'm logged in as admin now, local 
local group policy. All right, so you can see local group policy here, not to be confused to with group of, uh, the uh, policy editor that we were playing around with. This, what we saw previously was going to be what applies at the local level, which you're, which you're looking at here. So we'll, the changes we've made on this computer, which is located in here now, which is replicated on this computer is, so under users, administrator templates, so if we go to system, log on, this is where we are making the change if we're going to make this change on the local level. But if you look at it here, if I double click this here, come on, you can see that it's not enabled here at all, right? It's not configured. That's okay because all these changes are controlled by that group policy right so at the local level you could do the same thing but it would only be for this specific computer what we've done is going to follow the users it's going to follow the users instead of just being for that one computer so let's go to where you would normally set up automatically like launching of the program so it's going to be here that it's a hidden folder but if you type in c program data Oops, it's program data all together. Program data, and then go to Microsoft, and then go to Windows, and then go to Start Menu, Programs, Startup. This is where Edge would normally be, or any other program you want automatically to start. So to prove it to you, I'm going to select New, and I'm going to say, test document here I'm gonna call it startup test all right I'm gonna open it up because it's gonna open it up startup test all right so I'm doing this at the local level this has nothing to do with the group policy but I just want to show you this is how you would normally uh, start up programs what you see here where you see edge here this isn't just the start menu on their programs. This is not Edge running automatically. That's done through group policy that we've created. Here is at local level only. So if I log out here, all right. Matter of fact, let's log back in as test user two, why not? It's going to launch not only Edge, but it's going to open up that notepad that we've just created. But that notepad is only on the local level, but we can set it up so it launches. We can set it up so it launches as part of group policy. Or again, you can make any changes you want, but this is how the group policy works in the nutshell. So this is a hopefully an easy way to understand on how this works and how you can even explain it, let's say you're looking for an IT job and they ask you about the group policy, you can explain it to them now in easy way of how this happens. All right, it's coming. There is the edge, and now notepad should be coming up here as well. But again, it's not part of, this notepad is not part of our group policy, but you can see this is, this is what happens. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, please share it with your friends that are into IT, and I appreciate it if you say hello hi or thank you in the comment below and uh yeah if you if you like the video also like it did i already say that i'm sorry i always forget about this stuff i get caught up in trying to teach what's on my mind rather than go through all of these stuff that you know would benefit me in a way where it would help grow my channel i always mess that up but you know in the end i don't care is because as long as you know you all learn something from me that makes me happy i i don't even care whether people like or you know try to you know and i'm just happy that this is helpful to somebody is what i'm trying to say all of this other stuff is unimportant you know <laughs> i hope you have a wonderful day take care i'll see you next time bye bye